basically all I can say. There's a lot I can say here. Uh, there's going to be times when you just want to fold it, call it, and say that's it. Had enough, right? Don't do it. Don't do it. Counseling, whatever you got to do, keep fighting, stick together. Any problem in the world, that's what family's for. Call me, call Allison, call any one of us for advice. I'm always here for you. You ever got a problem? She knows the number. What a good brother. What a good brother. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Oh, don't awesome. make me start going here. Okay. Now. Here, go with So Daddy you are? I am Uncle Gary's wife. Okay. And Kelly. Kelly. Everybody calls me Kelly. Okay. Um, my advice is to love hard, live hard, laugh hard, always have fun, enjoy each other. Um, there's ups and downs, but you just keep trucking just with anything else. Um, Uncle Gary and I have been through a lot. We've been married 18 years, eh? which is a woohoo! Yay! Yeah, Yay! 18, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Uncle Gary so is a saint. Whoa, I did. You, got, you guys are actually qualified to give advice. This yeah, is good really. stuff. But, <laughs> you know, Uncle Gary no, is a saint, and I'm loud and crazy, and he's yeah, so reserved. Yeah. But we yeah. make a great team, and it sounds like you and Lance are the same way. You're the loud one, he's the quiet one. It's gonna work. <laughs> so do you guys have any advice for the bride and groom? <laughs> well, 20 years together. Wow, so we, we have some credibility here. Yes. We have some. The woman is always right, just apologize. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Let's see, not that I follow this advice, by the way, but. That's the best kind. Robin and Lance, you're gonna fight. Fight naked. Nice, nice. And if you don't, and, and don't ever go to bed mad at each other. Just fight all night. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the grand entrance. Please put your hands together, make a whole lot of noise for the flower girl, Ring Bear, Savannah, and Monkey. That's awesome. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. <laughs> Day by day is all I gotta say, Lance. Day by day. <laughs> oh, so is this who I should be yeah. getting the advice from? So, any advice for the bride and groom? Always be nice to your wife. Always be nice to your wife. Is that pretty easy? Yeah, I'm always nice. Say so yes, ma'am. Yeah, he's very nice. Very, very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Randy. Any advice? Oh, boy, I don't have any words. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just keep having kids when he has It worked for me. <laughs> just communicate. Um, Always communicate. You just need to talk to each other. Just be open with each other. Don't keep any secrets. Just oh, I thought you said consummate. Oh, communicate. <laughs> consummate, too. That's very important. <laughs> He's got that part down. <laughs> Okay. Uh, always date your wife. Keep taking her on dates. There you go. That's my butt. Josh, did you hear that? No. <laughs> what happened? What were you telling me earlier? Good advice. Something about like. Something. No. Something I probably should have said right now. Any other good advice? No. Okay. Date. Yeah. That's what you said, date? Keep dating your wife. <laughs> oh, no, it was for them. It was advice for them, not your husband. Oh, sorry. Really, I needed to go take her on some dates. Right? That's the thing. Thank My you. advice would be keep your problems between you and your wife. 
and solve them. Don't go to bed angry. Thank you guys. Advice for the bride and groom. Well, don't start with me. Okay. Just love each other forever. Put each other first. Love each other forever. Put each other first. Good. Awesome. I just want to say I'm, I'm thankful that you found a help me both of you and uh, love each other forever and they, the main purpose of life is to come here and, and find that help me and, and you have found each other and take care of each other and uh, have a good life awesome Thank you. I want to say do not work at your marriage because everything else in life is work you should come home and your marriage should be your rest Enjoy it. Enjoy your love for one another. Nice. Easier said than done. Everybody wants to make work out of it. That's where your peace is supposed to be found. It's supposed to be your refuge from the outside world. So I believe it. I believe it. Make it, make it your peace and your rest. Well, with that being said, make sure that he's, you know, make each other comfortable. Make sure you're taking care of each other. And that's where you find your joy. Hey, uh, Lance, r rewind this video just a bit and uh, look at how happy you were the day you got married. Just remember that. Because you're happy. Thank you. What'd you say, Rachel? Come on, you're on. Okay. I just love you both and I'm happy that you have each other. See it? That's my, just, that's, that's it. Awesome, thank you. She doesn't love her. Baby. They're not tight. They were just saying how cute they were. They're guarding. Starting off our toast is going to be the maid of honor, Amber. Let's give a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen.
to save up money, you know, being so young. I was just amazed. And I lived in California at the time. She's just so thoughtful and so amazing. Um, Robin, she is an amazing person. I moved around a lot growing up. And I met a lot of people, and a lot of times uh, you come across the same kind of personalities. But Robin, I haven't met anyone like her. <laughs> <laughs> She's a Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> she is very unique. I, just, I love how she's so funny and goofy at times, and other times she can like just be crazy and flip out or worry. <laughs> Too good, really that's too good. I, I know you've gone through a lot and you had really hard times. And I always wanted, you know, good things for you. And when I seen you post your post on Facebook and how you met Lance and how wonderful he treats you and how much you love him, I was so happy. He just oh. <laughs> I love you're so you're so brave and outspoken. The thing I love most about you is that you will fight for anyone you love, for everyone you love. So true. So I was excited when I saw you and Lance together. I'm like, oh, this is this handsome guy. Oh. It looks like it makes her real happy. <laughs> but then your post became more, more serious and more endearing and loving. For this wonderful man who treats you like there isn't anyone else that matters in the world. And that's what you deserve. Thank you so much. Lance and Robin, thank you so much for inviting me here tonight. It means a world to me. This is like another memory of Treasure forever. Thank you. And I will be here for you guys. If you ever need anything, please just don't be afraid to let me know. Because I will do anything for you. Oh, thanks, Amber. I love you. Um, I came across this quote and I thought it's uh I thought it was really nice. So I wanted to write it down. Uh comes from Corinthians 13.4 from the Bible. It says, love is patient, love is kind. It doesn't, does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoice with truth. It always protects, it always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. So, where's the glass? Here is Robin and Lance. An everlasting love. Thank you.
she would come in there and she would be such a hot mess. <laughs>